Here I'm going to show you the operation of the PGT Easy Breeze 4-track window. These are four panels of a vinyl glazed window meant to enclose your screen porch and keep it clean and dry. When you push all the window panels up to the top, you open up 75% airflow through the screen. You can also bring all the windows down to the bottom. Again, 75% open screen for ventilation. You'll notice with the Easy Breeze window that all four panels are slightly different size. The first panel on the bottom is wider and each of them step in just a little bit in width. That matters when you take them out to clean them and put them back in, they need to go in the right order with the narrowest one closest to the screen. This aluminum track actually it cascades in and that creates the the need for the different size panels that track actually does kind of come into the opening a little bit and uh, reducing the screen size on here to take the panels out these push button pins are what push in to allow the panel to come out you unlock it tip the panel in and then give it a little rotation to come out. You'll see on the back of the panel, you can actually see the pin and spring assembly from the back side. Those springs are what compress, allowing that panel to come out. This is actually on the back side. You can see that it's a hollow channel. And unfortunately, sometimes that gets filled up with dust and spider webs and things that when you take the panels out to clean the vinyl, you'll want to vacuum out this channel as well to keep junk from building up inside of there. To put the panel back in, we simply get the first pins into the track, making sure that we're putting that into the proper channel. Because this is the widest one, I need to go into the first channel. These channel or the tracks on the side are metal, so there isn't any kind of an insert in here. This is, the whole frame is aluminum. The downside of that is you have metal sashes, metal track, metal on metal. When they go up and down a bunch of times, you'll start to kind of see some some wear on that and some binding. Uh, it does have the ability, if you do some spray silicone or some type of lubricant in there, that'll help kind of take care of that. You might have to do that maybe once a year or so, or at least make sure that you keep these tracks clean from, uh, from any uh, debris so that those panels will operate uh, freely. And then the last thing on these tracks is you'll notice on the edge, the inside jam part tapers down to almost about a quarter of an inch. So if you wanted to do an interior extension jam or stop a trim of some sort, you would actually need to downsize the window in advance because if you put a, an extension jam in here uh, when the window's like this, that extension jam will actually be thicker than the frame of the window and you wouldn't be able to get the sashes out for cleaning. So you'd want to downsize this window by the thickness of your jams before you order and install them. Uh, otherwise, you're going to have a problem. Or if you just do your jam material first and then put the window in, then you'll be okay. But no ability to do an extension jam after the windows are already installed. That is the PGT Easy Breeze vertical four track window.
This is the Weathermaster vertical four track window made by Sunspace. Again, has the vinyl glazing, four panels that can go up or down, meant to enclose a screen porch and keep that space clean and dry. When you push all of the panels up to the top, you have the 75% open screen down below. Closed, keeping your space clean and dry. Or all brought down to the bottom, again, opening up the 75% open screen. The frame is completely aluminum. There are a plastic insert that is put into the frame uh, as a track that allows the aluminum frame sashes to slide up and down in the plastic track. The good thing with that is you don't have metal on metal, which tends to kind of create burrs and bind up with time. Uh, these tracks will uh, do need to get cleaned out sometimes. If you get uh, a panel that's starting to feel like it isn't sliding freely, you can take a rag with some soap and water and just wipe those tracks out to get it back to a good operation. I do find that those tracks, here's a uh, piece that I cut off of one of those, they do have quite a bit of flex to them. And in the darker colors, I have seen that they are prone to deforming where they actually melt in the sun. And so if you were to find that you see some waves in these channels uh, after having been out in the sun, it is, that has been something that we've seen happen before. With the aluminum window sashes, these do come out for cleaning by compressing to the left. So there's springs on the left side, you push it to the left, and that's how the panel comes out for cleaning. You will notice that unlike other brands that had a uh, hollow channel on the back, the Weathermaster by Sunspace is completely encapsulated. So there's no voids there for uh, debris to build up in. Uh, that's definitely a nice thing. They do have these 90 degree corner keys. This is what uh, connects the different parts of the sash together. This is a plastic piece that, that holds those corners together. And I have seen those break from time to time. The only part on here is this D spring that's on the left side. That's what compresses into the left track to take the window panel in and out. That is the Weathermaster four track window by Sunspace. This is the Extend vertical four track porch window made with a vinyl glazing to enclose your screen porch and keep it clean and dry. These panels slide up and down, exposing a screen for ventilation. In this particular example, I have three panels with a fixed tempered glass in the bottom that acts as a guardrail if you're in an elevated porch. We can also do full height screens with four panels that slide up and down to give you 75% open screen. Typically, if the height of the window opening is less than 60 inches, that's when we usually drop it down to three panels and eliminate one of those horizontal lines. In order to take these panels out for cleaning, you simply compress the panels to the left. All three, or in this case, all four of these sashes are the same size, so they can come out and go back in in any order. The aluminum frame of these window sashes is completely enclosed so there's not a hollow channel for dust and debris to build up in. And the corners of these window sashes 
are done with a 90 degree corner key. This is also a metal corner key. So we have metal corners and the entire frame. Some other manufacturers are doing these corner keys in plastic and they are prone to break. These metal corner keys cannot break and that's why the Extend windows have a full lifetime replacement guarantee on all of these components. When you put the panels back in, again, because they're all the same size, they can go in in any order. It's just compressing those springs into the left and back into the track. The entire frame of the Extend window is a powder coated aluminum. And then there's a nylon jam liner that's put in to the frame. So these nylon tracks are extremely solid. When you try to twist that, you can't move it. This is much, much thicker than any other track or jam liner of any other manufacturer. These are extremely heavy duty. That will keep your window panels sliding freely and properly. If you find that they were to start to get difficult to operate, it's most likely some dust and debris is in there, simply taking a wet rag and cleaning those, those tracks out will solve the problem. On the inside of these frames, they are a full one inch thick all the way around the perimeter. So you can install this window into a rough opening and then add extension jams afterwards that will butt right into the inside of that frame as opposed to having to downsize the window for your jams. This can actually be installed just like a new construction window and fully trimmed out on the inside and outside without any modifications. That is the Extend three-panel and four-panel vertical four-track windows.